Memory management is dealt through ARC in Swift. This video is about explaining ARC and retain cycles. ARC is automatic reference counting, a system that applies to the memory management of reference types. So when you have a reference type, maybe a class, as it's created, ARC will set its count to one. And as soon as the reference count becomes zero, the object is released. So each time a strong reference is made to the particular class, the reference, cl reference count is increased by one. And every time a strong reference is removed, the reference count is decreased by one. When the reference count reaches zero, the object is released. So if we imagine we have a tutorial with several students who attend that tutorial. The tutorial is a class and the student is a class. It's quite easy to imagine a situation where you have a strong reference between the tutorial and the student and a strong reference between the student and the tutorial. The code would look something like this, perhaps. We have a tutorial class and each tutorial has several students and we have a student class and each student can attend a tutorial. And in this case, I'll set it up where as the student instance is created, it's created with a tutorial and then the tutorial enrolls the student. And in this example, with this particular code, both the tutorial and the student are initialized but even when I sent, set the instances to nil, neither are released. This is a strong reference cycle. So there's no reference to the computing instance and the student instance apart from to each other and the memory is still held by the system. This is not good. This is not how it's supposed to be. But there are several solutions to this. We can make the tutorial a weak bar and then when we run this the deinitializers are hit so exactly the same is happening we're creating the tutorial and student instances but when they're both released the instances are deinitialized and the memory is freed up another alternative might be to use structs thing is with structs, deinitializers don't actually make any sense. They're not supported in Swift because they're only allowed, whoops, they're only allowed within a class. Well, I hope that video has been of some use explaining ARC and memory management to you and hope to maybe see you next time. Thank you.